Welp, the night has come. Halloween night, where we get to dress up or whoever the heck we want. Hey, Freddy, are you coming out soon? Yes, Toy Bonnie, just give me a second. Right, it's time for me to put on my costume. <laughs> Halloween, I hope you're ready for Freddy. Hmm. Yeah, too basic. Baby, do you have your costume on? No, Bonnie, I don't think we have any costumes that would fit me. Well, baby, do you even want to celebrate Halloween? Well, yes, I do. I don't know, baby, just your, your overall tone of voice doesn't sound like you're excited. Just be honest with me, do you want to celebrate Halloween or not? Okay, Bonnie, well, I'm gonna be honest with you. No, I don't want to celebrate Halloween. We, we've had too much going on this year. I just, I'm holiday drained right now. Um, okay, I, 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 I understand. I'm gonna go see if Chica's ready. Careful, Freddy, I just want the... Uh, oh. Freddy, did you not see the wet floor sign? I'm mopping the party room. Oh. Huh? Blora, why are you cleaning up the party room now? Well, you told me to clean up the party rooms. I didn't mean... Oh, I should have said minus this room. Why didn't you want me to clean this room? Because we were gonna have my Halloween party here. Well, you can't have it right now, it's too late. <sighs> what am I gonna tell my friends? Just be honest with them. I'm sorry, Freddy. <sighs> no, no, it's, it's fine, I'll think of an alternative. <sighs> hey, Freddy, what's with the long face? Bloor's cleaned up the room and we can't use that room. What? So does this mean we can't have the party? Well, unless we can find a different room soon, then we may not be able to have a party. Well, why don't we just have it in the main dining area? Chica, that room is way too large. There's no way I can set it up in time. Well, this is just great. Now we don't have a party to celebrate. Hey, guys, what's all the commotion? Oh, nothing with her, Bonnie. The party's canceled because Ballora is mopping floors in there, and she doesn't want anyone in that room. Oh, well, that's a shame. Well, why don't you come with us? I mean, we're going somewhere to celebrate Halloween. Well, what is it? Well, do you know that abandoned warehouse that's a couple miles away? Um, yes. What about it? Well, that's where we're going. We're gonna tell scary stories and have our own fun there. And also, that's the warehouse where we were built. Get out of here! Really? Mm-hmm. So what do you guys say? You wanna join us? Well, what do you say, Freddy? Mm, considering the fact that we don't have anything to do... Sure, let's go. Awesome. We'll be in the van. So, what stories do you guys have in mind? Um, I don't know, but I'll think of some. I already have one, but I'll tell you when we get to the warehouse. I hope it goes well. What do you mean by that? The weather animatronics know where the warehouse is. They're familiar with that area. I know that, but there have been a lot of strange disappearances in that warehouse. Some, some teenagers have entered that building. But for some reason, they don't come out. Um, that's creepily unusual. He's just trying to wind your gears up, Chica. Just ignore him. We'll be familiar with the warehouse when we get there. Hey now, guys. Welcome to the original Fazbear Warehouse, a.k.a. Art Burke Place. Are you sure this is the correct location with it, Freddy? It doesn't look all that run down. Yeah, it looked like it was only shut down for a few months. Well, it's because some people have tried to obtain this building and restored it, but for some reason, they always, they never end up finishing it. Why would people want to renovate this building? It doesn't look like it has any use right now. Well, I don't know, but let's go inside. But how are we going to get inside? The, the garage doors are, are, are shut tight. Well, there's, an, there's a door over there. Oh, okay. Hmm. Just like that? I thought it would be a lot harder. Well, it wasn't. <gasps> Whoa, now this is a lot cooler on the inside. Ugh, it smells kind of stinky in here. Well, what do you expect an abandoned warehouse to smell like? Um, I don't want to venture out too far, so... Why don't we tell our stories here? 
good because I don't like the way this building looks. Ah, like something's it. coming! Ah, ah. Oh, it's just chains. Chica, you have got to calm down. I'm sorry, I've never been in this building before. What if it's haunted? Chica, there's no such thing as ghost. All right, let's, let's just tell our stories. Who wants to go first? Uh, well, I, I got a good one. All right, let's hear it. Okay. <clears throat> it all started on a dark and windy night in Arizona. Well, I should be home shortly. I had to finish all my errands. Whew. Today was a long day. I can't wait till I get home. Wait, what? The, what the? Huh? What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? What, what's going on? <clears throat> of course, something ha bad had to happen. Let's see right here. Um, I think... Oh my gosh, I, I think I forgot to fill my tire pressure. <sighs> Bonnie, you have got to remember to do these things before something bad happens. <sighs> Let's waste no time getting the compressor out. Okay, where am I? Gotta, where are my keys? Um... Come on, come on, ah, there we go. Now, okay, now let's, oh my God, are you freaking serious? Ugh, it, Bonnie, you have got to think. I ha this is one of those plug-in in compressors. Ugh. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to call for help. All right, Ugh. all right. Let me just try to... Where's my phone? Where the heck is my phone? Oh, and I forgot my phone too! Oh, thank God that this car has a phone system. Okay, let me just... Okay. Please. Come on. Hello, this is Baby. Who am I speaking to? You're speaking to your boyfriend. Oh, buddy, where have you been? I've been waiting for you for an hour now. Well, I'm sorry to break it to you, but my car I have a flat tire and I'm, I, I might be later than usual. Well, did you bring a compressor? Yes, I brought a compressor, but it's a plug-in one. Well, did you bring a spare tire? No. Buddy, I hate to be Captain Obvious, but you should always bring a spare tire with you. And a kit for that. <sighs> well, why did, well, why didn't you tell me to get one sooner? Buddy, don't go blame it on me. Well, what do you want me to do? Well, do you think you can come and get me and get a spare tire while you're there? <sighs> okay, but do you owe me after this? Well, where are you? Um, I'm down near the, the road where we come in what, we, right before we enter our neighborhood. Oh, okay. I'll be there in about, um, ten minutes. Ten minutes? Yes, but at least I'm, get go at least I'm getting you. <sighs> well, I guess that's true. I would go outside, but I don't want any javelinas or coyotes attacking me. Hmm, I guess I could maybe... <clears throat> you know, this part of town does look pretty when it's at night. Too bad there's no sunlight though. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to wait around here until baby comes. As long as I don't as long as there are no rattlesnakes or coyotes, I should be fine. <sighs> what the heck was that? Did I just see something? Okay, uh, I don't see anything unusual. Huh? W what was behind me? Um, who's there? Huh, no reply. Eh, <sighs> I guess it was nothing. Well, but maybe should be getting here in a few seconds. <gasps> oh my god! Who are you? What? Nightmare Cupcake? <laughs> yes, I finally found you. But how did you find me? I recognized your voice. I've been trying to search for you for two years now, and now I have. But now since no one is here, it's time for me to finish you off. 
<laughs> Sweet revenge is mine. <laughs> the end. Pfft. Anyone could come up with a story where there's stranded in the middle of the desert. Now, now listen to my story. What is your story, Chica? I gotta hear this. All right. <clears throat> it all started on an average day in the pizzeria. Oh, hot, hot, hot. Yes, Chica, it's hot and ready. Whew. I'm gonna set this on the table. Oh boy, I'm so excited for this! Now, Chica, I'm gonna, I'm gonna still let you know that this pizza is a little different. Oh, I'm okay with a few extra onions then. And... Well? Freddy, can you tell me what the heck is this? It's pizza. Yeah, I know that, but what even is this stuff? It's a veggie pizza. What? Veggie pizza? What are these stuff coming around? Probably when pizza was booming back in the day. Well, listen, the, the reason why I made this for you is because you're obviously not getting enough nourishment in your body. So I figured that I'd give you something a little more healthy. A little more healthy? But what is even on this? Oh, there's pep, there's broccoli. Ew, screw broccoli! Chica, it's good for you. No, Freddy, I don't care if broccoli is good for me. It's disgusting. It's like eating the, the leaves. Yes, Chica, while broccoli is not very, the most, most delicious thing, it's very good for your body. I really don't care about that. Well, uh, so, well, outside of broccoli, there's also onions, roasted onions. Where are the onions? I don't see them. They're right there. That's an onion? Yeah. That looks like a mushroom more than an onion. What is even all, what is even all this also? Oh, this is, there's also pep, red, red and, or, and yellow peppers on here. Peppers? Well, I like peppers, they're okay, but there's no way I'm eating this. Chica, just take a bite, I think you'll like it. <sighs> okay. Well, first, let me cut it up for you. All right, I'll cut up. Okay. It's really good. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Well, what do you think? Okay, 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 Chico. Obviously, you're not gonna eat this. No, I'm not. Then I'm gonna go get something else. All right. I might as well eat this. <laughs> Ew! Ugh, no wonder Chico doesn't want to eat this. This tastes like garbage. Ugh. Well, there's no way in heck I'm eating this. It's off to the trash can with you, pizza. <laughs> Ugh, it doesn't even, it smells good, but it tastes bad. There we go. Sorry, veggie pizza, but you had to go. Wait for me, Chica. I'm gonna go get, I'm gonna go order some real food. Okay. Okay, uh, where's my phone? What could we order? Oh, hey, Chica, how about some Domino's? Count me in. All right. Where's my phone? I'm gonna go get my phone. Okay, there's my phone. All right. Hello, welcome to Domino's. How can I help you today? Okay, um, I would like just one large pizza. Well, actually, Chica, what do you want on the pizza? No, just, I want pepperonis. What about you? Okay, I'll just have a half cheese, half pepperoni pizza. Is that it? Yeah, that'll be it. All right, that'll be ready, and we'll deliver it with you within 10 minutes. All right, thank you. <sighs> now I just, now I'm just gonna wait until that food comes out. You know... I don't know anyone who would want to eat veggie pizza. I mean, vegetables are good for you, but but vegetables on a pizza? That's just a very odd combo, and it just it doesn't even taste good. Hey, what the? Uh, uh, huh? Uh, what's going on? What? Uh, who's doing this to me? Oh, huh? What the heck? Where am I? Why am I hanging in the pantry? Huh? 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 Uh, nice try, Chica. Huh? What the? Where's Chica? She's not here. Uh, did you just talk? 
Yes, we've talked. But how is this possible? How can pizzas come to life? Don't question how we can come to life. We're here for some payback. Payback? What kind of payback? And why am I tied up? Who's organizing all this? I have so many questions. Can someone just answer them? I can answer that. Oh, who are you guys? Duh, we are the veggie pizzas, and I'm the leader of it. But uh, what do you guys want with me? What do we want with you? We want to teach you a lesson of why you should eat vegetables instead of chowing down on processed food. What? Is this just because, is this because I threw you out? Well, I'm sorry about that. I didn't know you guys were alive. That's the problem. You humans don't know what we go through when we're disposed of and thrown into the incinerator. We're trying to encourage healthy eating, but what do we get in return? We just get spit out of humans' disgusting mouths and then thrown into the, into the dumpster. You have no idea how much pain and suffering my troops went through when, when they heard that their brothers and sisters were thrown into the dumpster and then sent to the incinerator to be extinguished. Yes, the last time I saw my brother was at the food market where I wished him good luck. But what happened? He got spit out of a disgusting human being's mouth and then thrown into the, into the trash. I never saw him again after that. Well, isn't that the point? You you guys are food. You, you, you're supposed to come and go and supply our food energy. We know of our purposes, but we do not expect to be thrown out like garbage. Don't you know that's why this, this your earth is being polluted? Because you human beings keep throwing stuff that's meant to supply you and waste food. Exactly. Have you ever wondered why the rate of obesity has increased? Listen, sir, I'm sorry I spit you out, but sometimes people just don't like certain foods. And that's sadly how it is. We're aware that the, that the earth can be a bit wasted sometimes, but, but, the, but there are good people that clean up afterwards. Keyword, a few people. But I'm not one of them, I swear! It's too late to beg for mercy, you brown bear. <sighs> what are you gonna do with me? I'm gonna turn you into vegetables. What vegetables? Are you guys idiots? I'm made out of plastic and metal. You can't turn that, that stuff into edible food. In fact, the house is even gonna work. Once that person is turned into food, we gather together and do the secret speech, and then boom, you're turned into vegetables and we serve you into a human so you can be eaten up. Uh, guys, help! 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 Oh, oh, oh. Shut it. Now come on, let's put him into the pot before anyone notices. That's right, into the pot you go. Freddy, why don't you scream what? Huh? What the heck? Freddy? Freddy, wake up! Huh? Um, Freddy, are you playing with food? That's very unusual behavior for, from you. You always say that food is meant to be eaten, not played with, but you decide to do it? That's very hypocritical of you, Freddy. Oh! Oh! Quick, tie that one up before anyone catches us. Oh, my head is spinning. Huh? Freddy, why, why are you tied up? Oh, God. Oh, no, Jigger, you're tied up, too! Oh, by who? By pizzas. Huh? What is going on? What in Scott's name is going on? We're teaching you and your friend a lesson to not throw us out. We're only trying to do you a favor to prevent you from obesity. Obesity? What are you guys talking about? We're tired of being thrown out by you uh, disgusting human beings. What are you going to do with us? We're going to turn you and your friend into vegetables. But how are you going to do that with me out of metal? Don't worry about the details. Who should go first? Um, I say we put the ugly duckling into the pot first. Hey, I'm not a duck, I'm a, I'm a chicken! Very, very well. Prepare to be turned to a vegetable. No, 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 please, I promise I'll eat you guys! Please, just don't eat You me. had your chance no. to eat us, but now it's too late. Oh, no. Oh, my God, I can't hold it any longer. Whoa! Ah! 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 Don't hurt me. Uh, 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 uh. 
Oh, hiya! Oh. Don't just stand there, get her! Yeah. Oh! Uh. She got grabbed behind me the knife. I'll take care of this now. Ah. Uh. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh. Actually, you don't taste that bad. Oh. Hiya! Oh. Oh. No! No! Uh, no! How did you defeat my army? Oh, Freddy Fazbear, you are gonna pay for Let this. Let me do the honors. Not rest until sure. my fallen siblings have been arised. And hey, 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 what are you doing? No, 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 no! Please don't! Hey, 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 hey what, uh, miss, please! What are you doing? You want your wish? You got it! No, I take it back! No, 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 no! Well, I'm glad that's over. Uh, oh. We got a floor to clean up. Care to help me, Chica? Sure, and after that, let's go dispose of this stuff and get some real food. Sounds like a plan. The end. <laughs> Best to me, I mean, I mean, I've never heard of anyone who despises vegetable pizza more than you do, Chica. I mean, I mean, vegetables are good for you. But who puts vegetables on a pizza? It's disgusting. Well, they're still good. Alright, alright, break it up, you two. The, although that story was a little ridiculous, at least it had some form of suspense. Thank you, Freddy. Now, does anyone else want to tell a story? I have one. Well, okie dokie, you go ahead, Toy Bonnie, tell your story. You managed to surprise us with your Channel 89 story. Okay, guys. Remember when I said that there were a lot of strange disappearances at, the, at this warehouse? Yeah. Well, that story is associated with what I said. But let's go back to when, the, when, when Fazbear Entertainment first started here. It was the year 1985 when Fazbear Entertainment was first established and, they, and the first animatronics, which were the withered animatronics, including Fredbear and Spring Bonnie, were sent to Fredbear's Family Diner. From there, the restaurant was a massive success in the, in the mid-80s, to the point where it was the most popular restaurant at the time. The warehouse remained open while it made parts and continued making ideas for new entertainment. One day, this, this, empl this worker came up with the idea to have a mascot where it would double as a mascot and an animatronic. It was given the nickname Spring Body because of its resemblance of the original character. But before it can be test run, they had to create the programming, like they did with, with all animatronics. They, they hooked up the suit to, to, to the computer system, and, and, and the programming soon started. Once it was finished, the person who came up with the idea stepped inside and gave it a test run. It was all going smoothly. That is until... No one knows exactly what happened. But massive waves of electricity surged through his body, killing him instantly. The, the computer was shut off, but by then it was too late. And by 1987, Fred Rice Family Diner closed down due to a child missing incident. And after that, the warehouse was forced to close down because the, the company had to move to a different state. From there, the original warehouse was abandoned. As time moved on, and natural elements started to inhabit the warehouse, Strange activity started happening at the warehouse. Exactly 10 years after the warehouse closed down, two teenagers went to go inside and do a video about the original abandoned Fazbear warehouse. However, one of them claimed to have, to have seen a silhouette of a rabbit on the balcony. They went to investigate, but after that, they were never seen again. No one knows what happened to them, but their bodies were never found. Now, there is a legend saying that on every anniversary of the incident, strange things start happening at the warehouse, like with lights flickering, followed by distorted noises, and then the ghost of Glitch Trap emerges from the darkness, and anyone he catches is never seen again. And that, my friends, is the tale of Glitch Trap. That was a very unsettling story, Toy Bonnie. Yeah. Um, Freddy, can we please go home? I don't want to stay in this warehouse any longer. I'm, I'm right with you, Chica. Toy Bonnie, can you please type the address of our pizzeria in, into your GPS so we don't get lost? Sure, sure, okay. Um. Oh, no. W what's wrong? 
My phone said there's been a big road accident on the way we came from, and it will take until tomorrow morning to clean it up. What? You say we have to stay at this cryptic place until morning? I'm sorry. Well, why don't we just sleep in the van? There's not enough room. Only Wither Freddy and Wither Bonnie can sleep in it. So, I guess all four of us are going to have to stay in this warehouse. <sighs> oh God, I'm so scared. I don't want to stay in this cryptic warehouse. Glitch Chip will get us. Chica, Chica, calm down. Listen, at least we have some shelter. And listen, there's no such thing as Glitch Trap. But what if the story is true? Chica, come on. A, a guy getting electrocuted through a computer? That's physically impossible. Now let's just go to bed. Bonnie's right, Chica. There's nothing to be afraid of. I hope. Chica, just go to sleep. There's no such thing. Uh, uh, it's just coincidences. Uh, nice try, Bonnie! Uh, try Bonnie, I know it's... Chica, stop yelling! Everyone is trying to sleep! But I keep hearing noises and the lights are flickering! <sighs> you keep hearing noises? What kind of noises? I'm hearing weird goofy laughter! Weird goofy laughter? Maybe it's children. How can, how can it be children when there's no children around here? How we, can you go investigate it? <sighs> Fine, but you better go to sleep afterwards. I'm gonna prove to you that there's no such thing as glitch trap. Thanks. <sighs> what are you guys doing? Well, we're hearing weird noises and the lights are flickering. Oh, Chica, don't, don't, don't let your mind play tricks on you. The lights are probably flickering because of the faulty wiring in this building. In fact, I'm surprised there's some of them are still running. Well, where's Bonnie? Well, we went to go check on the noise, but he'll be back soon. Huh? Bonnie, where are you going? That didn't look good. No, it didn't. Toy Bonnie, wake up! Something's wrong with Bonnie! <laughs> Chica, animatronics don't shed their suits like that. It looks like someone just scooped him. But who would do this? I don't know. Oh my god. What? Look up there. It's... It's... Let's try. Let's get the heck out of here. Ah! <laughs> Come on, start up, start up, start up. No, oh, he's getting closer, Freddy. What are you guys screaming about? Glitch trap is after us! Look out the window! G -g 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 Glitch trap? Step on it! Done! We're out of here! <laughs> they actually fell for it! <laughs> now that's one way to celebrate Halloween. Well, my bunny dudes, happy Halloween! It's a good thing I brought my car here. Hey guys, it's Andrew John Hunter here, just to hear say. I hope you've enjoyed this special, and if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. If you liked what you saw, and if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to share this with your friends. And also guys, if you don't want to miss out on any videos in the feature I make, just click the notification bell next to the subscribe button, and that way, you won't miss out on any future uploads. Alright guys, I'm gonna get going, and I'll see you all in the next video, and Happy Halloween! <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna be the one who's gonna have the laugh while you will supply the screams. You're in for one heck of a ride, Fazbear's. <laughs>